let's chat. So I just wanted to kind of talk about how to create realistic and attainable fitness goals, health and fitness goals specifically for 2022. Now obviously loads of people make New Year's resolution and a lot of it for a lot of people is health and fitness related. You know, I'm gonna start exercising from January five days a week. That's why there's a massive push in the fitness industry. And the thing is a lot of people decide to create unattainable and unrealistic fitness goals they are probably jumping too far ahead and kind of cutting out all that the small kind of habits the in-between stuff i know like at school you learn a lot about the smart goals you do kind of use that like formula or whatever you want to call it you use that throughout your life throughout your journey when i'm creating kind of business goals any type of fitness goals anything like that even working with my clients making smart decisions and smart attainable goals is really Really important so specifically in terms of health and fitness you want to be able to actually achieve them there is absolutely no point in creating resolutions and fitness goals if they're just too hard to achieve and you're not going to be able to you, do, you want to set yourself up for success so I recommend starting small take baby steps get your pen and paper out with you while you watch this video watch this video and then you know start planning and literally if you know you're someone that has said year on year you're going to really change your life you're going to start working out you're going to start eating healthy and you know you don't last more than a week two weeks you know even a month then i would start small you know you better than anyone else so i would literally start with two new year's resolution goals for the whole year it can be anything small from you know i'm going to start eating five fruit and veggies my five a day i'm going to start eating my five a day from january every day as much as i can or five days a week you know monday to friday and if i don't do that that's fine but this is your new year's resolution for the whole year now if you achieve that in a month or two months or three months amazing and you can always refer back to your resolutions and make new resolutions maybe after the first three or four months or usually after the six month mark you can go back have a look at your resolutions see if you achieve them see if you need to make them easier if you haven't or if you have achieved them then you know make it a little bit more challenging or change something the whole point is you want to be able to achieve your goals if you know that you literally don't eat your five a day it's really really difficult for you then maybe start with having your three you know five a day if that makes sense three veg or fruit a day and then you can always build it up to five so that's like a little kind of example that's a little bit vague but you can definitely set up dates in there so you can definitely say you know in january 30 days i want to be eating my five a day every day or monday to friday at least that gives you a little bit of a goal some people work better having a goal to work to or at least just doing it for january i for example usually do like a no sugar january and try and eat no kind of processed sugars in the january period usually it becomes easier by the end of like the month 30 days and i usually try and stick to it in kind of february or march that's kind of an example on the food basis i know food's quite hard even if let's say your goal is to gain weight which which can be quite challenging rather than being like okay i'm going to get on a meal plan i'm going to be starting to eat loads of calories in a surplus from january the first if you know that you can't do that then maybe you can just be like right january i'm going to consciously make sure that i'm eating my three meals and my two snacks don't worry about counting calories don't worry about the portion sizes just make sure you're eating the meal frequency it all starts somewhere what's quite important with weight gain and muscle gain is the meal frequency as well as the portions as well but making sure you're eating good amount of meals in a day the right portion making sure there's enough protein in there also carbs also fat also any kind of veggies also your vitamins enough water can be a lot and that's why usually people try and do everything in one go and it's not realistic that's why baby steps is very very important it doesn't matter how long it takes you even if it's three months or more maybe just consciously try and stick to the meal frequencies once you've kind of mastered that you can then maybe start you know consciously thinking about eating enough protein and so on now in terms of the fitness world again if you know that you're not going to be able to 
exercise five days a week don't make it your plan if you literally know you're very busy your work life takes over or you've got small kids then don't make those unrealistic goals you're just setting yourself up for failure and it's fine not being perfect you're not going to wake up one day on january the first or january the second and suddenly be eating really healthy every day and working out five days a week don't do that to yourself if you know that you're someone that if you write down a goal, you just go all in and you stick to it and you're quite good at doing that. And by all means, go for it. But you know you better than me, better than anyone else. If you've never worked out before, you're a complete beginner, maybe even start working out two days a week. You might think that's not enough, you know, in the books, in the fitness world, that might not be enough. Even to achieve your dream body, your um, like healthy weight or anything like that, two days might not be enough, but it's absolutely better than zero, which is where you started. Start January just working out two days a week. Build it up to three days a week. Maybe stay at three days if, if that's attainable, if that fits into your lifestyle. Maybe incorporate some walks in on the weekends, you know, active rest days, going for a walk. And then as the months go, if it becomes easier, then you can always build it up to four days, build it up to five days. It can literally just be 30 minute sessions, whether that's at home, the gym, in the garden with a friend. Now, um, obviously goalposts are really good. You know, you wanna do something in a set period by end of January, or you wanna achieve it in the first six months at least. Which is a quite nice time frame i don't really believe in putting too much stress on yourself and trying to tick off all your new year's resolutions within the first month especially if you've got quite a few in other areas outside of health and fitness but six months is quite a good um time frame usually within the six month mark i review my resolutions and see where i am if i can make it easier don't be afraid to cross it out if it's too challenging and just drop down a notch and make it a little bit more easier and achievable attainable definitely dream big and you definitely want to be putting goals and ambitions that scare you that are big but to get there you need those mini resolutions that will eventually get to your you know your end kind of goal which is not really your like yearly resolution so yeah that's kind of the main thing just make sure you are reviewing every six months see where you are if you've achieved it absolutely amazing and carry on usually you will surprise yourself but write it down i write down my resolutions i stick them i write them down in my notebook also really great to refer to them year on year even if you haven't achieved something one year it's completely fine you can just carry on to the next year again don't be afraid to kind of step down a notch you know don't be afraid to tell people either put it on your phone write it on your background I, I think resolutions are great and i know people are are like oh yeah people just make january resolutions and then don't stick by them if you if you want something whether that's in business in health in fitness you want to achieve a certain type of body strength you absolutely need to be writing down goals whether they are new year's new year's resolutions or they're just goal setting i prefer the term goal setting and these are just some little tips that i do some little tips i hope you find useful in how to set attainable and realistic health and fitness related goals thank you so much for watching hopefully you found this really useful and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on my other socials